A mysterious visitor has just entered our solar system and is zooming through it at a crazy fast speed of 152,000 miles per hour. It's faster than anything we usually see, and it's not slowing down. How fast will it reach Earth? Will the world end when it does? Let's see. This space traveler first popped up in telescopes that watch the night sky all the time, called Atlas. This system has eyes in Hawaii, Chile, and South Africa. They spotted the bizarre object on July 1st, and it's moving straight toward the sun at that crazy rate. What's even weirder, it's flying in a straight line, not how things usually move around here. At first, scientists thought, whoa, this thing isn't from around here, meaning it was an interstellar object, a visitor from far outside our solar system just passing through with enough speed to not get stuck by the sun's pull. Then, NASA stepped in and gave this object a name, 3i Atlas. Turns out, it's most likely a comet, a big, dirty snowball flying through space. You won't see it with the unaided eye or a normal telescope, but lucky for us, there's a free live stream from a powerful telescope in Italy where you can watch this mysterious traveler zoom by. We've only seen two other interstellar visitors before, one called Borisov in 2019 and the other back in 2017. You might have heard of Amuamua before. Some thought Amuamua might be a spaceship from another civilization, but nope just a strange rock. Scientists think there are lots more of these cosmic visitors out there, just sneaking through without us noticing. And this newly discovered one proves it. But how exactly did it get spotted? It happened on July 1, 2025, way out in Chile. At the time they saw it, it was about 4.5 times farther from the Sun than Earth is, and it was moving fast. Unlike the planets and usual space stuff that orbit the Sun in nice, neat loops, this comet is on a hyperbolic path, meaning it's just passing through, not sticking around. Its orbit is super stretched out. This comet is tricky to size up because it's wrapped in a cloud of shiny dust, making it hard to tell how big the solid core really is. Scientists guess it's somewhere between 0.5 and 15 miles wide. The comet is going to swing closest to the Sun, this point is called perihelion, on October 29, 2025, at just over 1.3 times the distance from Earth to the Sun. One of the coolest things about this comet is that it likely came from the thick galactic disk, an old part of our galaxy filled with ancient stars. That means this traveler could be over 7 billion years old. He says I'm a grumpy old man. It's possibly packed with water ice from ancient times. In other words, it's a speedy, mysterious comet from far beyond that might hold secrets about the early universe hidden in its ice. Anyway, when scientists first noticed this comet, everyone was a bit puzzled. Was it just another asteroid or something more unusual? The path it was on looked so wild that astronomers actually thought it might come close to Earth so it got added to a special watch list. But as more specialists checked it out, it became clear this was no ordinary space rock. This visitor was on a hyperspeed path that wasn't just around the sun, it was coming from outside our solar system. Later, it turned out that even before the July 1st discovery, this comet had already been spotted in earlier photos from the end of May and June. But no one knew what it was back then, because it was hiding in the dense, star-filled area near the center of our galaxy. So it was like trying to spot a firefly in a fireworks show. At first, some astronomers thought it might just be an asteroid because it didn't seem to have that usual fuzzy glow or tail that comets have. But by July 2nd, powerful telescopes in Chile, Arizona, and Hawaii caught a faint tail and a little cloud of dust around it, the classic signs of a comet. And once they confirmed this, the comet got its official name. Lots of telescopes jumped in to get a better look. One spotted a tail stretching 15,500 miles long. That's longer than the distance from New York to Los Angeles. Others noticed that the dust around the comet had a reddish tint, just like the dust from the last interstellar comet. 
Scientists even tried to figure out if the comet was spinning, but couldn't tell because the dust cloud was hiding its core. The Hubble Space Telescope is going to take a look later in July, and scientists worldwide will get access to its data, so everyone can learn as much as possible about this cosmic visitor. So, the comet is going to get its closest to the Sun around October 30th, coming in to about one and a half times the Earth-Sun distance. Right before that, it's going to swing relatively close to Mars, about 0.4 times that Earth-Sun distance away. So, Mars will get a close-up look. But don't worry, when it comes to Earth, the comet isn't coming anywhere near enough to cause any trouble. The thing is, when 3i Atlas zooms closest to the Sun, Earth will be on the other side of it. That means the comet won't get anywhere near us. Its closest pass to Earth will happen later in December, when it's already heading back out of the solar system. NASA says it won't come closer than about 1.6 times the distance between Earth and the Sun, so no worries there. Scientists are super interested in where 3i Atlas actually came from. One recent study says it probably hails from a part of our galaxy called the Thick Disk. That's where most of the stars in the Milky Way dwell. But they still don't know exactly which star sent the comet our way. One of the researchers says it could have come from tons of different stars, not just the ones nearby. That's because this comet is likely to be super old. It might have been drifting through space for billions of years before finally zooming past us. Scientists think it came inside Neptune's orbit back in 2023, and it'll pass by Neptune again as it heads back out in 2028. Depending on where you say the solar system ends, it could take decades for this visitor to fully leave our neighborhood. Now, could 3i Atlas be a spaceship sent by another civilization? The answer is almost definitely not. Back in 2017, when the first interstellar visitor, Amuamua, showed up, some folks thought it would be a disguised space probe. That idea came from weird things about how it moved. They didn't quite add up. But 3i Atlas is acting like a totally normal comet. No strange moves or surprises so far. Still, some scientists are curious and want to check if 3i Atlas shows anything unusual, like tiny boosts that aren't caused by gravity. You might be wondering if we could actually visit this comet. Well, we've sent spacecraft to some space rocks before, like NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission, which landed on an asteroid called Bennu in 2020 grabbed some samples, and brought them back to Earth. That was a big deal! People have thought about doing the same thing with other interstellar visitors, but for now, visiting 3i Atlas just isn't happening. It's a wild comet zooming through, and we don't have any missions ready or built to catch up to it. So right now, astronomers are in a bit of a race to learn as much as they can about this rare visitor before it disappears again. They've got until the end of September to study it before the sun's glare hides it from view. But then, in December, when it pops back out, they'll get another chance. Big telescopes like the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, the most powerful optical telescope out there, are ready to snap some pictures. There's even talk about using the James Webb Space Telescope, and maybe even NASA's rovers on Mars, to catch a glimpse as it speeds towards the sun. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.